Welcome back. At least 42 people were killed in various attacks by non-state actors across Nigeria last week, precisely from February 6 to February 12. About 11 of those killed were security personnel, including 10 police officers and one soldier. The others were civilians, and, and despite the slight decline when compared to the previous week where at least 45 persons were killed, it is still a worrying indicator of the state of security in the nation. All the killings were reported in three of Nigeria's six regions, the southwest, uh, southeast, and the northwest. And joining us uh, to analyze these developments is Lawrence Alobi, who is a former commissioner of the Nigeria Police Force. Um, Ms. Alobi, thank you very much for your time. Good morning, thank you for having me. Yes. Is Nigeria inching closer <coughs> towards being a failed state, looking at and going by the state of uh, uh, security lapses and the insecurity in the country? Yeah, the insecurity in the country is becoming very disturbing and alarming. And uh, also, it, it is worsening than the fact that those who are supposed to protect us and should have more others maintain are not being attacked and killed. And if this is a situation now, then we are inviting, we are ready for anarchy. Because nations are built on law and order. And that's why Section 14B of the Constitution provides that the primary purpose of government is security and welfare of the people. And if security, those who are supposed to provide security are not being attacked. They have been born, they are children being born. Then where they where they with the, with the, whom they will rely on now. Because the society has no other person to look on to, belong to the police. And that is why it is incumbent on the society to support the police, to encourage the police, to ensure the police perform optimally for the benefit of the society. And it's the police who have a duty to do to ensure that they carry out their duty in line with their rules of engagement, personal ethics, and code of conduct. So, the police need to put in their best to ensure, because the citizens also deserve the best. But again, the police need to be encouraged and empowered to the enablement. Today, the police, the police is still at the destroyed to the extent that they even feel afraid to wear their uniform. So I am healthy for the society. Some of us may, may, may not know the implication. It's not healthy for the society at all. Well, no society can exist without the police. So, but let's... We have a need to ensure the police force is being trained and being strengthened and not weakened. Lawrence and Lobby, let's also look at the reason why these police officers are being killed. What could be responsible? Now, some quarters are saying that it, it might just be because uh, the Nigerian police is not properly kitted. I mean, when compared to their counterparts outside of the country. Now, recently, just last year, remember that the Lagos State uh, Security Fund had mentioned that it would cost three million naira to have a particular police officer kitted. I mean, fully kitted. So, do you agree with these persons who are saying that the reason why they're being killed, the way they're being killed, uh, could be because they don't have what it takes uh, to uh, defend themselves when these attacks actually come? Yeah, that is a notorious fact. If you see an American police officer, Indian police officer, or South African police officer, he's fully kitted with all the gadgets that he needs to, uh, to be effective in his function duty. If you know so to protect him, our policeman, you see him carrying, he has his carries AK-47, nothing with him, no communication, no walking-talking, nothing, no protective vest, armor vest. And you see, when our men go outside this country, they are rated as one among the best in the world. But because of the Nigerian environment, they are seen as the worst. The, 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 the environment itself is tough. It's, the, the police itself is a, is a victim of a different system. The police is not, it's not, it's not equipped, it's not well funded, it's not well trained, it's not well motivated. 
and you want to get into the best. It makes him to be very vulnerable, to become vulnerable. And I just decided to say that people don't have the cause for appeal to the law. When we think that we are smart, when we, when, when we go against the law, we say we are smart. And that is when the policeman is, there, is not there, he's not empowered to enforce the law, then the, the victim, the city, the city suffers. And now the policeman is also suffering. Hmm. Uh, 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 CP, former CP Lawrence Lobby, um, some of these things that uh, you've, you've pointed out, uh, I would like to believe are uh, the challenges that were faced in your time as Commissioner of Police and these challenges uh, as far as police welfare is concerned, logistics and all that, are still being faced today. Um, I asked the question whether you think we're inching closer towards being a, a, a failed state uh, because you have policemen on the run. We've seen the pictures and videos. They're being killed and they are on the run. They're running away from attackers, unknown government bandits, call it what you may. Um, 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 but if you choose not to answer that question directly, do you see the, the situation improving anytime soon? Yeah, it is will improve and if the government has the political will. So we must fix our Nigerian police force for the benefit of Nigerian citizens, but for the benefit of the country. But when we play politics, some of us, some, there are some people who are there deliberately out to destroy the police. The police are not well funded, they are not well equipped. Look at police barracks, police don't have, they, have, they don't have logistics. Some police stations don't have patrol vehicles, no communication. And this, uh, policing today is technologically driven. And with that technology, you cannot function effectively. So the police themselves are not, are not empowered to perform their functions in line with the mandate of the, of the act of, their, of the police act. So I think the government itself has to stand up. And the scientists stand up and see how the police is our police. We have to make sure the police is fixed for our benefit. Yeah, in uh, fact, yeah. the good aspect of NSAT protest is that NSAT will say that police should be reformed. Because they saw the rot, the rot in the police, and they were concerned with that because if the police is not, is not fixed, the police is not empowered and, and, and motivated and strengthened to effect, effectively perform the function, the society suffers. And in so far, the police is not fixed, Nigeria will continue to suffer insecurity. I know we should not we try to bring this ad hoc in bringing some agency or do that. The police are the primary agency charged for internal security. Okay, uh, for finally, Mr. Lobby, because, yeah, because of time. Yeah, Mr. Lobby. Yeah, Mr. Lobby, because of time, I just want you to answer this in a yes or a no. Uh, is it time for us to uh, decentralize the policing in the country and allow the states is or regions? The police to their duty? All right, all right, all right. Thank, well, thank you very much, uh, sir. I'm sorry that's the much you can take as far as this conversation is concerned. But we totally appreciate your time and giving us your, your expert analysis as well. Uh, Lawrence Alobi is a former commissioner of the Nigeria Police Force and he's been a guest on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being part of the show. We do appreciate and everyone that has been part of the breakfast this morning. The show returns tomorrow, 7 o'clock is the time up until now. And if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Boko. Have a fantastic Tuesday. And I'm Kofi Bartels. We'll return tomorrow. Good morning.